This method helps in monitoring how the material properties of implantable devices may change upon insertion into the body, particularly the softening of the materials. The main advantage of this technique is that it offers a simple in vitro method that mimics in vivo conditions and therefore minimizes the need for animal testing. This method is especially interesting for testing the thermomechanical properties of the material that will be used in implantable devices in general and is not limited to bioelectronics. The loading of the sample and the measurement of the sample under the wet conditions are a little bit tricky and may cause unreliable test results if not performed properly. Begin by mixing quantitative amounts of thiol to alkene monomers with a total of 0.1 weight percent photoinitiator. Cover a 20 milliliter glass vial in aluminum foil to present incident light from contacting the monomer solution. And use a disposable plastic pipette to add 50 mole percent ta ta to, 45 molar percent TMTMP, and 5 molar percent TMICN to the vial. Then add 0.1 weight percent of the photo initiator DMPA to the vial and use planetary speed mixing to mix the contents of the vial without exposing the solution to light. When the contents have been thoroughly mixed, spin coat the resulting thiolene prepolymer mixture into glass microscope slides in 550 micrometer thick films and immediately transfer the polymer films on the carrier substrate in a cross-linking chamber. Then photopolymerize the films for 60 minutes under 360